prototyping is indeed one of the most important phases of the designing process. We do need the realistic prototypes for different reasons. One of the reasons is that we need to hand over our ideas and design to the developers. And if we can hand over more realistic prototypes, then they will have a better understanding of how the final product should look like. Also, we would like to do a lot of tests on our prototype before we invest a lot of money and effort uh, on the development process. And if we have a realistic prototype, in that way we can get more realistic feedback from the users in our tests. We can create more realistic prototype by creating more realistic interaction. Users are usually going through different phases in one interaction, starting from observing the initial state of the system and then triggering one action and then observing the system feedback again in order to decide what they should do in the next step. We need to get sure that we give the realistic feeling to the users in each step of one interaction. Many designing and prototyping tools had many limitations so far and the most of the problem was about that there were very limited triggers that we could use in our prototype in order to kind of trigger some action. So we, we have many common triggers such as a mouse click or hover or many other things like a delay that we have in a Figma, but these are so limited. Today in this video, I'm gonna use Protopy, which is an amazing prototyping tool, which gives us a lot of new options to use as a trigger. This will help us to create super realistic prototypes. So get sure to watch this video until the end. My name is Kian, here is the Kimo. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to create a simple card as a user interface element, which is going to rotate when the user tilts the smartphone to the left or right or up and down. I'm going to design the user interface inside the Figma and then import it in the Protopy in order to create the final prototype. But before I go further with the designing process, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet and like this video and of course share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section with me. I read all of your comments and respond to all of them. Now without further ado, let's get us started. So let's work on the user interface design. I'm gonna make a new frame. I'm gonna choose the iPhone 14 and 13 frame from the preset list. Then I'm gonna make a rectangle inside this frame and add a background color. I'm gonna choose a gradient as effect for the background color and then choose the color that I would like to have in the background. Then I'm gonna make a new frame inside the same frame and then add the background color to this frame and then increase the transparency to 20%. I'm gonna add also the blur background effect uh, to this frame. I also increase the border radius to something around 32 pixel. In order to create a glass effect, I'm gonna add some border to this frame. Now I'm gonna add some other uh, user interface elements such as image, headline, paragraph, and a call to action button. Now the design process for this card is ready. So we need to just import it inside the prototype and continue working on the prototype itself. So all we need to do is to just open up the prototype plugin inside the Figma. Then we have to select the frame that we want to import in the prototype and then click on the export button. After a couple of seconds, we will automatically have our design inside the prototype. So now we can work on the prototype and create our interaction. First, I need to click and the add trigger here in the interaction menu. And then from the sensor triggers that we have in the list, I'm gonna select the tilt. For the first trigger, I'm gonna choose Y as the axis of the trigger and then click on the plus button in order to create or add the properties that I want to manipulate after user trigger this interaction, which in this case is going to be the 3D rotation. First, I need to select the layer that I would like to apply this effect on, which is going to be the card. And here for the pivot, I'm gonna switch to the custom. Now we need to define the range of the changes between the degrees and the angles, which is basically going to map the degree of the tilt of the device and the 3D rotation of the card in our prototype. The range of the tilting for the device is going to be between uh, minus 20 degree to 20 degree. And if we want to map this to the rotation of this element inside the device, I'm gonna choose the same rotation uh, kind of degree. So this means if the user tilts the device or the mobile phone minus 20 degree, then the card in the design is going to also also rotate 20 degree uh, in the uh, Y axis. Here at the end, we need to define the uh, rotation direction or tilting direction. Now we need to create our second trigger. It's going to be the same uh, type of trigger tilting, but this time we are gonna switch the axis to the X. And then we are gonna create the same 3D rotation uh, for the same uh, card element. But this time here at the end, we need to switch to the horizontal rotation. Now it's time to check the preview. And one of the cool thing about the Protopy is that we can install its application in our smartphone. And then we can kind of use the sensors that we have in a smartphone to run the interactions and prototype 
that we made inside the ProtoPy. I'm gonna install the ProtoPy application uh, on my smartphone, which is very easy, and then click here on the device, and then uh, from the uh, application that I have, I will scan uh, this QR code. This will automatically run my prototype in my smartphone. And here is the result that you can see. As you can see in this video, Portopie is a really amazing tool. It has a lot of features which give us this possibility to create more realistic interactions and prototypes. There are many more features and options that I would cover in the next videos. However, I still expect that the Figma bring some of these features into the Figma as well. However, they have done a lot of cool stuff recently in the interaction section, but I still feel that they can do better. The triggers that we have in the Figma are really limited and I would like to see more options there. Let's hope we will get more in the next updates. I hope you enjoyed this video and if it was so please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment for me let's learn together and see you in the next video